Hello everyone, my name is Desmond. Have you ever scratched your head and wonder which kind of cables are more suitable for your projection usage? And what are the limitations and benefits of each cables? In today's episode, let me help you identify and recommend suitable types of cables depending on your customer's usage. In the market, there are two types of transmission signals, digital and analog. And the five commonly used types of connectivities are VGA, HDMI, DVI-D, DisplayPort, and USB Type-C. Based on the chart, you can actually see that the only connectivity that uses analog signal is the VGA, whereas the rest transmits signals digitally. The more common ones used and found on projectors are mainly the VGA and HDMI cables, as these are more easily available and affordable. Based on the chart, you can also see that each cable has different resolution and length limitations. For example, the VGA cable is only able to transmit a maximum resolution of 2048 times 1536. However, a HDMI cable can actually support up to 8K resolution. Now that you have a basic understanding, I would like to shift your focus towards the HDMI connectivity. There are about 5 different versions of HDMI cables and ports in the market today and each of them represents different signal capabilities. This chart shows you the different types of HDMI cables available in the market. In today's context, the more commonly available HDMI cables are version 1.4 onwards, as they support higher resolution of up to 10K resolution, especially for version 2.1. Generally, these cables also support higher frame rate per second. You must be wondering, how does a faster frame per second rate actually affect my projection image quality? And which actually is better for me? Well, it is crucial to know this information as it ultimately affects your viewing experience. Having a cable that supports faster FPS will reduce breakages in terms of fast-moving images and it also helps to smoothen the transition between graphics and animation. From the simulation below, which is a smoother image to you with less breakages? With a higher FPS, it also helps to smoothen transmission of signal from your device to the projector. Hence, better and more enjoyable image quality. You might also have noticed from some of our high brightness laser projectors that it actually comes with a HDCP 2.2 indicator just right below the HDMI port. HDCP means High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It is a protection that prevents copying of digital audio and video content as it travels across the connections. It is available on most AV equipment, not just only on projectors. However, there must be a chain of HDCP 2.2 products for HDCP to actually ultimately work. Let me give you an example. If you use a non-HDCP transmitter in between your device and the projector, the HDCP will not work. But if you have a chain of products, the HDCP will work effectively. Now that you have learned so much more about the different type of cables and connectors, let's move into something a little bit more advanced. Understanding the different type of Ethernet cables. The type of Ethernet cables chosen for your projection affects your projection speed via network and performance. There are about 5 to 6 different types of Ethernet cables in the market. In general, all these cables actually support up to 100 meters of transmission length with no signal loss. And supposedly, if you were to install such cables for 4K quality projection, CAT 6 to 7 are more recommended due to its maximum bandwidth capability and its data rate that it can actually handle. These cables are also very ideal for HTBSD transmission. Some of you might be wondering what exactly HTBSD is. I see it in my projector ports, but how do I actually use it and when do I actually use it? HDBase-T is actually a global standard for transmission of ultra-high definition video and audio, Ethernet, controls, USB over a single LAN cable. So instead of having complicated cables for control cable, video cable, and audio cable, it can now all merge into one single LAN cable. In general, Epson's HDBase-T ports support 4P, namely audio-video, power, ethernet, and control. Over a single ethernet connectivity, you can now control and project your content seamlessly. 
Using a conventional method, you will need multiple connections for your various devices due to the lack of the HDBase-T port. Now, using the embedded HDBase-T port, you can remove your cable clutter and seamlessly connect them using a HDBase-T transmitter. Knowing that the cable only supports up to 100 meters of transmission length, what if your installation requirement goes beyond this? That is when you will need a booster or extender. A booster is only used when the installation exceeds the initial 100 to 150 meters. An extender usually extends the signal for another 100 meters only before the signals drop again. Extenders can be interchanged between HDMI and HDBase T. These are very useful when it comes to digital signage applications or even your staging and events installation requirements. In conclusion, it is recommended to always choose your cables and connectors wisely to prevent investing more than necessary. If it's within a small room, either use a HDMI cable that transmits both audio and visual or go wireless. However, as your projection requirements increases due to the technical requirements or distance, consider HDBase-C or even a network projection.